what's going on? Welcome to the Bottom Line Podcast presented by Anchor.fm, your home for sports and entertainment talk. Jimmy Finizzi, Mr. Taco with you, a.k.a. Austin Myers. We hope you've been well. Yes, we know the inconsistency has continued with the both of us, and we are sincerely sorry. Let's just say uh, it's been very hectic. <laughs> Let's just put it in those terms. Okay. Let's just put it very lightly. It's been very, very hectic. It's been very busy. For the both of us, and quite frankly, we just needed a. Uh, how would you put it? Also, we just needed a little bit of a uh, a break from everything. A little bit of a breather. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of a breather. That's just just putting it lightly. But hey, good news. We're okay now. We're ready to get back to work, and we're happy to be doing episodes for you once again. And boy, do we have some content for you this week. This episode in particular. Oh boy. <laughs> No, uh, feelings are going to be hurt. Feelings are going to be hurt here because Commissioner Rob Manfraud deserves it. Manfraud. We're going to be talking about about the Major League Baseball lockup. But before we get started, as you can see on our brand new ticker below, if you like what you're seeing so far, make sure you subscribe on YouTube and all audio platforms and hit that bell so you don't miss a single episode right here on YouTube. So with that being said... Austin, I got a beef. I got a Go beef ahead. with the commissioner. Here. As a matter of fact, Just I'm going to put up a little manual here. Uh, let's see. Oh, here it is. How to kill a business 101. Subject, Just, just go rip Major League Baseball. One. What's that? I said, just go rip him a new one, bud. Yeah. Nope. Yep. I'm about to go all in because, all right. So in case you've been living under a rock recently, um, Major League Baseball is locked out. Um, they were unable to come up with a new uh, CBA deal before uh, the deadline was, I believe, the 28th of February. Yeah, 28th of February. And actually, no, I lied. They actually extended that um, to the next day, if I believe, at like yeah. 5 p.m. Eastern. At five. And nothing happened. And now you have a situation where regular season games are starting to get canceled, including opening day. And the yeah, first, first two, two series of the regular season. And look, this is pretty much all I have to say in terms of this. This whole thing is ridiculous. It, it really, really is. I just, I don't understand why the owners and our wonderful commissioner, Rob Manfred, can come up with something here. Oh, wait a minute. I know why. Because it's all about ching, this. Ching, 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 ching. You put you you couldn't have said that any better, Austin. But no, seriously, that's what this whole thing has been about this entire time. Because at this point, look, even when they signed the CBA that was in place five years ago, even that was a bad process. The players did not like it, mm-hmm. and now the players are now not liking this. But at this point, we really have to sit down and look at ourselves in the mirror and say, this is ridiculous. Rob Manfred and all of the owners of their respective teams do not care about the players. They don't care about the fans. And heck, I'll go as far as to say they don't even care about the game of baseball. Because if they did, they would have gotten this done back in December when the lockout first happened. But... They didn't because they wanted to make as much money as possible. And they wanted to piss off the players so bad to the point where they would lose money. Hey, well, that's that what they're doing. Single... I'm sorry, Austin. Go ahead. Listen, that's what they're doing. Mm-hmm. And you realize that with every single passing day that this lockout is still happening, I... we're close to 100 days of this damn lockout. Okay, 100 days. Players are going to be, I I don't know exactly how much players are going to lose. Somebody let us know on social media. But point is, players are losing money. No, I understand that you want to have a situation where you want to get your players paid. I totally get that. And some players deserve all the money in the world. But I'm glad. What? I'm glad. (laughs) <laughs> Vladimir Guerrero Jr., yeah. He's, he, he, might be, he might be one of them. Just dropping names now. <laughs> oh, my life. But, listen, 
players are losing money, and you know who's not losing money? The commissioner and the owners. And they go are up, just, I was they're just rolling something. around in it right now. I was going to say something else. You're, you're going to say, you know who's not losing money? Who? Monster Energy. Monster. <laughs> you're right about that. I mean, hey, look. That's the only good spot about this episode. Monster, please, if you're watching or listening, do something. <laughs> no, I, listen. I needed something this morning. Yeah, no, seriously. But no, in, in all honest to God, serious, I, I'm just sick and tired of this lockout. Look, I still will love the game of baseball until the day I die. But, Austin, I think we can both agree that at this point, when has baseball been relevant over the past decade it really hasn't if you really think about it because the only time everything they can the only, try. Time it's really re- the only time it's really relevant is the world series it's like the nhl with the stanley cup finals that's the only time it's pretty much relevant mm, that's a, that's that's a fair point it's fair it's fair because really who cares about the regular season for one unless it's late in the regular season and playoffs matter mm. and number two you're doing you. You say you're gonna do all this stuff to speed the game up, right? You're gonna add a pitch clock for the pitchers. You're gonna eliminate the shift. You're gonna um, add a runner on second base and extra innings, which I think is the that stupidest is terrible. thing ever. That's just terrible. You're basically following minor league rules at this point, which is absolutely stupid. And actually, this is why I'm starting to like minor league baseball more because they don't have to put up with this crap. I feel bad for the players that won't have the chance to get called up and play in the majors this year. God forbid we even have a season. But even still, minor league baseball seems to be handling this a lot better than the major leagues. Because at least they will still have a season. But, listen, point being, I'm, I'm just sick of this. I know oh, yeah, Austin's I still, I know Austin's still, still going to support his Blue Jays. I'm going to still support my Yankees. We're both going to support our teams till the day we die. We love baseball. But point being... Rob Manfred, get your head out of your ass and sit there around with the owners and do something. Because we are sick and tired of this. The players are sick and tired of it. And quite frankly, the game is tired of your nonsense. In my personal opinion, Rob Manfred should have never been hired as the commissioner. Because if we knew he was going to be like this, Bud Selig looks like a better commissioner than him. And that's saying something. Tell me I'm wrong. Nope. Exactly. Thank you. All right, quick get it there. Sorry about that. But look, the bottom line is simply this. I really wish that Bud Selig was still the commissioner. And and that that is saying something. Because at least he cared about the game of baseball. He cared about the fans. Are you seeing that in Rob Manfred? No. And look, you've seen the players on social media go off about this lockout. Mike Trout is not happy about it. Aaron Judge is not happy about it. I'm pretty sure Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is not happy about this. He's still okay? he's still over he's still in like Brazil or wherever the hell he's at. Still oh, he's, training his ass off. Oh he's 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 uh he's training in the off season overseas? I don't know. I've seen his Instagram I think huh. that's what I've seen on Instagram. Interesting. Huh. Well, and a few they, of the other Blue Jays have been doing it. Anything you can do to keep in shape. I like exactly. it. But look, point being, I feel bad for the players. I do. Because, look, I may not be, I may not fully understand the position that they are in. Because, hey, we're not athletes. We are just here to talk about what's going on from our own perspective the best way that we can. We're only fans. So, and by the way, before you say it, no. I did not make that joke because of OnlyFans, so shut your mouth. <laughs> but anyway, I, I'm not talking to, directly to you, Austin. I'm talking to the fans out there that might have thought that, but I digress. The memes. <laughs> we're gonna start. We're gonna start a bottom line OnlyFans for the memes. <laughs> Imagine if that starts. But the bottom line is this. Don't test me. Oh my god! Now knowing Austin, he's probably gonna do it. Hey, he, he already owns the TikTok. By the way, if you're not following us on TikTok, please do it at bottom line WMCX. Don't, don't make us regret it. <laughs> and by the way, Austin's been putting out some killer behind-the-scenes content on TikTok. 
Just saying. So go follow us on TikTok. Um, but and uh, we um, I actually may have some behind the scenes content in a couple of weeks on TikTok as it pertains to uh, uh, Rangers Devil stuff in a couple better, of weeks. I'm, I'm gonna better be better hurt because I'm making our TikTok look real good, bub. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, I'm gonna be in attendance for the uh, Rangers Devils game at uh, Prudential Center in a couple of weeks. So uh, wow. stay tuned for some content there. But you get, you get to see Father Chris Kreider. Oh man, yes, uh, I can't wait. And I, I really hope to God that Shesterkin plays. I really would love to see him play who, live. I would love to see Shesterkin. <laughs> yeah. Play. Speaking of which, we're gonna get into the Rangers in the next episode. So uh, stay tuned. We've got some thoughts about some. Uh, goaltending issues but oh boy here's the thing back to baseball for just one second just to kind of close out this discussion here because really wh- what, more, wh- more what more is there that. to say what one more is there to say there's really nothing more you can say except rob manfred is probably the worst commissioner in sports don't give me roger goodell don't give me um uh don't give me gary bettman because at, at least they care about their fans Rob I don't Manfred want to hear doesn't. It. I don't want to hear it. Gary Bettman's absolutely terrible. Is, is he as bad as Rob Manfred? I mean, Manfred's canceling a season due to money. Bettman, all, all he does if he wants more money is, hey, guys, release more jerseys. <laughs> okay, that that I will give you. But even still, at least Bettman cares about the fans. At least he tries to do stuff. What's Rob Manfred doing? Just sitting in his office collecting as many paychecks as possible. That's the bottom line, and that's what this whole thing has been about since this whole damn lockout was put in place. And that's all this is, this has been about ever since they signed the last lockout of the, the last CBA, excuse me, five years ago. That's the bottom line, and that wraps it up for this episode of the podcast. Let us know what you think about this, and we'll propose this question to you. Is Rob Manfred the worst commissioner in sports? And if you think not... Who is? Let us know on social media at Bottom Line WMCX, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Use hashtag Bottom Line. And as always, do not forget to subscribe, as you see on the ticker down below if you're watching on YouTube. And hit that bell so you don't miss an episode. And subscribe on all audio platforms. Coming up next, Austin, we got a beef with the Rangers. Despite how good they are, their goaltending situation? Hmm. Maybe a bit questionable? You may want to hear our thoughts on this. For Mr. Taco, I'm Jimmy Finizzi. This is the Bottom Line Podcast. See you in the next episode. Peace and take care.